Hi there! Happy holidays! I'm Anana and in this video, I'll be talking about my animatic making process. I know I'm gone for so long due to university, but hey, at least I'm alive! Yay! For now. I apologize in advance for my lack of content recently. I'll be graduating soon, so I'm doing my best for the final hurrah. But before that, I'd like to thank Gammon for sending me their pen display tablet to try out the PD1320. I will be using File Packer and Windows Movie Maker, which are the tools that I use in making my videos till the animatic boy buy. I'll be splitting my process into six parts and I'll try to be as concise and clear as possible. So without further ado, let's begin. Step 1. Thumbnailing. This is where I make little squares in a notebook and each little square houses my initial plan for each frame in the animatic. It doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat but I find it super helpful if I already have a clear idea for each scene because that way I will have fewer parts to revise in the later parts of the animatic. I consider thumbnailing as the big brain part of the animatic making process because this is where I really try to solidify any daydreaming I did for my OSIS and then transform it into comprehensible scenes. Step 2. Rough Drafts In this stage, I'll be sketching each frame digitally. These are all rough drafts, so they're supposed to be quick and ugly. The main objective here is just to lay out every frame and establish a guide that I can follow. Consequently, I save all individual frames of the rough and lay it out in Movie Maker, so I can watch the movements if it fits the song. Step 3. Line Art This is the part where I get my coffee and think about my life choices. The longest process of the whole animatic making process is the line art. It's very tedious and tiring, but I still do it anyways. I draw over the roughs that I make. I try to be quick in drawing and sometimes compromise the quality of the anatomy because I don't want to take too long in making the animatic. This is perhaps why some people say that my works are a bit unclean in my earliest videos, but recently I've been trying to change that in my uh, last few videos, if you can notice my efforts. It's just disheartening to look back at my older videos and see that my lines in anatomy are all over the place. Sometimes I just want to travel back to time and tell my past self, Dude, you didn't even try it enough. I just... just... <laughs> Step 4. Colors. This is where we add the base colors for every frame. Sometimes I add shadows and highlights and other colors too. Personally, it's the most annoying stage. I just find it repetitive and boring. Step 5. Polish. This is the best part. Yep, adding the lighting and the shadows is the most satisfying and therapeutic stage because this is where I can experiment a lot. This is where I go extra for the colors, glow, and blurring, and chromatic aberration, and more. Aside from that, you know what's the best thing? The polishing stage means that I'm one step closer to finishing the animatic. Yay! Step 6. Adding each drawing in Windows Movie Maker In the last stage, this is where you combine the song of your choice and your drawings. You lay the picture one by one, make changes in the timings, and add effects of each frame. Then we're done! We made an animation or an animatic. On to the review of the Pen Display Tablet PD1320. First of all, I'm loving the neat look of the tablet. It doesn't have any hotkeys except for the toggle button at the side. It can be used to adjust the screen brightness or to calibrate the screen colors. For people going for a minimal look, this is a plus. The pen sensitivity is super nice and smooth and all I can say is that it gives you a nice feel when drawing on the surface of the tablet. The screen uses an anti-glare film to allow you to work in sunny or well-lighted places without much reflection of light. It also has a 13.3 inches work area to allow you to work comfortably. Drawing-wise, I don't see any faults with the tablet and I can personally use it with ease. If you do not like seeing a lot of cables in your setup, the tablet can also be connected with only one cable. The issue could be resolved by buying a Type-C to Type-C cable provided by Gammon. It doesn't come with a tablet, so you have to buy it separately. 
Also, if you can't let go of your hotkeys or shortcut keys, you might get a hard time working with the tablet. As for my part, I used a separate keypad that was gifted to me by my sister. This allows me to work faster even without the hotkeys on the side of the tablet. I tinkered on HID macros a bit and now I can use the numeric keypad for my tablet. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much Gamon for sending me the tablet and thank you guys for watching this video. Enjoy your Christmas or holidays or your break. I don't know. Thank you for watching.